OED fans and now we're going to take a look at the um, DIY head tracker in game. Let's take it for a spin, show you what it looks like in game. Some people have asked about responsiveness, how much do you have to move your head to kind of get a reaction. Um, so best thing to do is let's just pop in and take a look. So <clears throat> I'm going to don my head gear. You can see I've got the head tracker installed on the top of some headphones here. First thing to do is to lock them on your noggin and then need to calibrate them. So we need to just kind of stare at the straight ahead position, press this button, hold your head still, wait for a few seconds for it to calibrate and you'll be done. Um, and then we'll fire up a scenario. Um, let's have a look at factions, it's quite a reflective one. Um, and we're going to have a look. I think one thing that you do notice is the which will be hard to come across on a video, but is the sort of extra immersion. I mean, Frontier love to talk about immersion all the time. The extra level of immersion that it gives you. I mean, even more so if you've got iFinity set up as well. So, here we are in uh, Factions. I've got this button here on my stick uh, to enable head look. So I can tap that, and now the head look is engaged. Tap it again, and I just can focus on dead, dead ahead. Um, so, let's just have a fly around, and let's just do some... Uh, some pretty video capture. You can see I can look up here. Uh, here at this anaconda. Very nice. And then what you can also do is you can use it to focus on the uh, side screens. Sorry, uh, wrong one. Like that again. Use it the side screens and obviously you can navigate those um, accordingly. Likewise I can look over here onto this one and navigate this one uh, very easily. What's useful is to uh, turn the head look off when you don't want it. And there you go, you get the idea. Um, but yeah, you can see the responsiveness there. Um, not bad at all. And certainly not bad for 10 quid, is it? Um, if you make it yourself, you're, you're looking at, um, at, at sort of five pound for the uh, Arduino microcontroller uh, or the development board, uh, three, four quid for the um, gyroscope and then pennies for the button. So. Uh, Obviously that assumes that you can sort of either happy to use a kind of breadboard on top of your head uh, or self etch your own board like this. What um, uh, Pocket Moon, Dead Fred and myself on the forums are trying to do is arrange some of these boards to get fabricated for, um, for forum members so that we can, uh, uh, you can effectively fabricate this yourself without having to make up the board. Literally just solder in three components and you're, you're good to go. Um, obviously that's probably not going to be doable for 10 quid but I, we don't know yet but I wouldn't imagine it's going to be much more than 20 quid tops. We're not looking to make any money on it, we're just looking to cover the cost of having the boards made and, and that's it. And the extra level of um, immersion and enjoyment that it gives you out of the game for the sake of 10 to 20 pound um, it's a lot cheaper than uh, should we just say other uh, head position tracking systems out there on the market. Um, so yeah a good, uh, good little um, addition to the game. With that, I shall leave you to it. Um, I'll see you out there and uh, have fun, Commanders. Latest.